Yorgos Lanthimos's Poor Things concludes with Emma Stone's Bella Baxter having a lavish lifestyle at Godwin's home after his passing. The movie chronicles Bella's transformation from a Frankenstein-like creature to a fully realized woman. Through a variety of life-altering situations, she learns about the ways of the world and gains insight into the complexity of her own existence. Poor Things concludes Bella's narrative by showing her making her way out of Alfie Blessington's house. Bella decides to go with Victoria's husband after she had second thoughts about marrying Max, but she is soon put off by his threats and efforts to dictate her every action. Bella shoots Alfie in the foot out of a sense of helplessness and a desire to get away, then follows him back to her house. Now that Godwin has passed away, Bella conducts her first experiment, replacing Alfie's brain with a goat's. In the end, Bella achieves her own brand of happily ever after. She resides at Godwin's home with Max, Felicity, the woman Godwin experimented on to mimic the situation with Bella, and Toinette, her acquaintance from the Parisian brothel. Bella has made her decision to become a doctor, and Alfie is squawking as he walks about the lawn. Although Bella can't see Duncan, the conclusion of Poor Things shows her moving on to the next chapter of her journey, an explanation of Godwin's experiment in Bella's creation. Scientist Dr. Godwin Baxter, whose father had experimented on him, didn't want to create Bella, but when he discovered Victoria's almost lifeless body on the shore after she had plunged from the bridge, Godwin saw a chance he couldn't pass up. Godwin found it fascinating to experiment on Bella by transplanting Victoria's baby's newborn mind into a mature woman's body, allowing him to closely monitor her development. Bella was unique in the scientific community, and Godwin was intrigued by her potential as a subject. But Godwin needed a buddy more than he only wanted Bella for science, he was lonely. Godwin grew to adore Bella as a daughter since Bella was a father figure to him, and his father had always been nasty to him. Godwin felt delight and received the affection he had been denied in Bella's life because of her presence and her curiosity. He also related to Bella because, although he had experimented before, to a lesser degree, Bella had opened his heart much more. Without her, Godwin would have been without purpose in life, devoted only to science, and devoid of any kind of emotion. Reasons Bella left Max at Alfie Blessington's altar Bella Baxter has a never-ending curiosity. She was still learning and exploring, even if it appeared that she was happy with her choice to wed Max. Having been misled her entire life, she was particularly curious to learn the truth. Bella followed Alfie Blessington when he arrived to call off the wedding in order to learn more about Victoria's life before she was reincarnated as Bella. Bella still hadn't fully pieced out the jigsaw, and Victoria was one of the pieces. Bella could not have been completely sure that she should wed Max. Maybe she thought a life with Alfie would have been more intriguing, even if she wasn't planning on being with him long term. Even though Bella left Max for Alfie, does she still choose him? Despite having agreed to marry Max, Bella abandons him at the altar and departs with Blessington. However, Poor Things never finds out if Bella marries Max after leaving Alfie's grasp and going back home. By the end of the movie, neither of them seem to be harboring any animosity towards the other. After her interactions with Duncan and Alfie, Bella's future marriage seems doubtful. Nevertheless, they carry on with their lives and take care of the estate together. It's conceivable that Bella came to the realization that she and Max might coexist peacefully as friends or that she could live her own life free from the restrictions of marriage. Why Duncan brings Bella and Alfie back together even though he wants to be with her. At the beginning of their escape, Duncan and Bella were having the time of their lives. But Bella thought Duncan was no longer good and abandoned him following his attempts to manipulate her. After that, Duncan experiences Bella's repeated rejections, which he finds intolerable. Still, he wanted to stay with her in spite of everything, if only to keep controlling her. Duncan's only goal in getting Bella and Alfie back together was to get revenge on Bella for not selecting him. Duncan was aware that Victoria had lived a life apart from him, and his plan to cause her pain was to track down Alfie Blessington on her behalf. Bella wouldn't be happy without Blessington, he knew, and he enjoyed the thought that he would try to dominate her and treat her badly. And Duncan would see to it that Bella was unhappy if he was unable to have her. Though Bella didn't see it that way, Duncan was presumably insidiously attempting to make her see how great their relationship was. In reality, though, Duncan was just considering himself and his wounded pride. The true significance of Bella's decision to become a doctor. Bella makes the decision that she wants to become a doctor towards the conclusion of poor things. Bella wanted to make a difference in the world for a very long time after the trip, when she witnessed the darkest aspects of human nature and what life might provide to certain people but not to others. She could do it since she's a doctor. She would continue Godwin's work, walking in his footsteps as well. Bella has demonstrated that she is skilled at operating on Alfie, so it's probable that she wants to carry on with her actions as long as they seem right. She would be able to assist others and maybe conduct experiments in the future as a doctor. What kind of life did Bella lead prior to her death and resurrection? Bella was Victoria Blessington before Godwin brought her back to life. She was an affluent lady who liked to use her power to bully Alfie and her employees. Victoria was satisfied to stay home or interact with high society, in contrast to Bella, 
who was eager to experience everything life had to offer. However, Victoria's pregnancy altered her. She despised the child and could have started to feel stuck in her life as a mother. Naturally, it is Alfie who provides the audience with this knowledge rather than Victoria herself. Though there may be more to the tale, Bella's rebirth offered Victoria a whole fresh start in life. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.